So Connie, we're here at TechCrunch, Disrupt, day two. We just saw Mark Zuckerberg speak with, uh, with uh, Michael Arrington on stage. What did you think? I thought it actually was a pretty good speech for Mark Zuckerberg. He hasn't spoken at all since the company went public in May. There's been a lot of controversy, as you know, about the Facebook IPO. And that was the first question that he was asked, and he kind of answered it. He said he was disappointed in the stock, the, the way that it's been doing. It's lost half its value. Right. He said that he's had to do some effort to incentivize their employees and keep morale up. And so right. that was a fairly candid thing for him to say on both fronts about the stock price. And he also said that they are fairly used to having a lot of uh, controversy in Facebook history. It's up, it's down, people think it's great, people think it's not. Seems to have a little bit of a thick skin about it. What did you think about his mobile comments? So mobile's a big deal, right? People have been talking about the potential for Facebook and mobile, that's the opportunity. They think they've been slow to take advantage of that. Um, a lot of the sentiment around the stock is about whether or not they can capitalize on the mobile opportunity. Right. He didn't pause at all in talking about their interest in mobile, right? right? He even talked about how he wrote the founder's letter that was included in the IPO uh, prospectus on his mobile device. Right. He made mobile a big part of what they do and said that everything they code today is built around mobile and that they feel they have a big opportunity and that they're not going to let it go. Did you believe him? In a way, I mean, mobile is indeed where they have to make their improvements. Um, what I thought it was interesting is what he said about HTML5. He kind of geeked out and talked about how they made a mistake betting everything on HTML5, and they had to go back and, and essentially recode in, in their native uh, programming language. What did you think of that? I, I thought that was very interesting. The one thing he didn't answer was why did they make such a big bet right. on HTML5 two years ago is when he said they made it. And then they realized after a few months that the apps, Android and iOS apps, were not up to par and they weren't at the right quality level. They scrapped them, as you said, and now they're writing them as native apps. And so there's a little bit of a question about, okay, Mark, why did you bet on HTML5? <laughs> if you would like to send us the answer, we would both like to know. Definitely, right? So final point, he talked about reorganization. What do you think of that? I think that was interesting as well, because he was talking about maybe a little bit of the growing pains that Facebook has been going through. Right. And he said that, that before that they were organized around these very big groups, like there'd be a director of engineering that cut across the company, and now they have reorganized to have product groups where there's lots of areas of resp responsibility around specific initiatives. Right. Everybody knows what they're doing and there's a lot more accountability. And I think that makes a lot of sense because they're a company that's all about speed right. and fixing things quickly and throwing them out on the market and manipulating them. And when you're in a big organization that's kind of unwieldy, you can't do that. And I guess they bumped up against that and right. did a rework. So I thought that was very interesting as well. How does that compare to another Valley company, say Apple? in terms of structure? Well, Apple is also focused around product groups, but you did have a very small team of decision makers. Right. So the question is how much of a hand Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg has on the final output of what's going on day to day. He right. did make a joke about not uh, coding anymore because he didn't <laughs> want people to maintain his code and right. when he checks in his code. and uh, I thought that was kind of funny. I, I think uh, Facebook is trying to build this platform. It's moving at light speed. And if they've recognized that they were running into a bottleneck and that they needed to break out the product groups and, and bring that kind of a focus, then that's only a good thing. Right. And I guess the proof will be when we start to see what they will.